Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay, so I am fully aware that there has been a huge piece of tumbleweed rolling across my YouTube channel for um, a very long time now. But in all honesty, I've just been finding it hard to balance my Instagram and also my full-time job and then create videos for you guys. So it's been hard, but I've got more time now, so I'm dedicating a lot more time to YouTube. So yeah, I was gonna say, you know, subscribe to not miss any videos, but I feel like that's really cheeky considering I have not posted for so long. So I'm just gonna ask you at the end, but I will put a little cute animation here. Right, so if you have seen the title of this video, then you know that it is about the coil. Now I wanted to make this video because before I wanted to get the coil, I literally researched so much and all I saw was literally crazy horror stories that made me want to in my pants. And I feel like there was no videos where, you know, someone just sits down who actually has it and just talks about it from beginning to end. So I'm making that video right now for you all. So you might be watching this video and thinking, what the damn heck is a coil? Well, it is pretty much a little object that goes into your uterus that stops you getting pregnant. And it looks like this. So there are two different types of coils that are floating around our lovely world and that is the marina coil. Is it the marina coil? I always say it wrong. That might be wrong, but it's something like the marina coil. And the copper coil, which is the one that I have. So the marina one is a hormonal coil. So essentially the little object that they put in your uterus gives off hormones and that hormone is what stops you from getting pregnant. Tends to be a little less side effects than the pill because they say that the hormones sort of stay around in the uterus area rather than going all the way around in your bloodstream when you take a pill. And then you have the copper coil, which is what I have, which is hormone free. Nice. So you might be wondering, well, how the hell does that work then? Well, this baffled my mind as well, to be honest, but there's obviously crazy science behind it. But the, um, the basics is that your boys little swimmers does not like copper. So when they get to the copper, they're like, yeah. And yeah, they don't want to go in and make a baby. So that's how that works. So if you're wondering why I wanted the coil and not stay on the pill, it was because for years and years, well, six or seven years, I've been taking the pill and for six or seven years, I've had problems. You know, I thought it was my character to be like so crazy and emotional, like a leaf would fall off a tree and I would be like, no, no, like that that kind of like emotional. I'd be in and out of anxieties, depressions. I was just, just being a mess. And obviously my acne, I don't even think about it anymore. So I did not even think to bring that up, but yeah, my acne. So yeah, I just, I just wanted to be my normal self. So if you two feel like me and feel crazy on the pill and just want to feel like their bloody normal selves, then keep watching this video. So I'm going to do a entire breakdown from getting the appointment to how I feel now, three months down the line of having it. So let's start off by getting an appointment. What I did, how I went about it. Getting an appointment is really nothing out of the ordinary. Ring up your local GP or your doctor's surgery and be like, hey, have you had a coil appointment? And they will literally be like, yeah. Only thing is, there is a waiting list. So I waited six weeks to get an appointment for mine. But I think you can look at that as a good thing because it gives you a good amount of time to really research, you know, what coil you want and if you really want to do it. So yeah, you can also request to have a male or a female doctor. I had a female. And you don't actually have to pick the specific coil you want there and then on the phone, you can just be like, I'm gonna want a coil. And then when you get there, you can be like, right, I want the marina one or the copper one. So it gives you a little bit of time to have more of a thing. So yeah, I hung up the phone and I waited. And then the day of the appointment came, there is zero preparation you need to do before this appointment, which is great. You literally just need to, like any other doctor's appointment nowadays, just bring your face mask. So I just want to add as well that you don't have to go to your local um, GP or doctor's surgery. You can go to a sexual health clinic, their waiting times might be shorter than your GP. So definitely check that out if you're up for going to your sexual health clinic. So my biggest tip before you go to your appointment is take 
painkillers, bloody strong ones, so that when you arrive, they're gonna be in your system and helping you as much as they can. So I arrived to my appointment just like any other appointment, but I was in the little doctor's room where there's a bed. So I met with my doctor, she asked me how I was, asked me if I had any more questions that I wanted to ask about the coil, and then she literally just sat down and ran through the procedure that was about to happen in detail, so I kind of knew what was coming. But little did she know, I already knew what was coming because I goddamn researched hard and I got on the bed. So I don't know if anybody watching has already had a nunny examination. Just a heads up, I call my, um, I call my vagina a nunny because I literally just, I can't, I can't say vagina well, it doesn't roll off my tongue, I don't feel natural saying it, it's just like, so I prefer nunny. So yeah, if any of you have actually had a no knee examination before, then you know that you literally lay on the bed and you spread them legs. So, now for the inserting. Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! Like, look, I wanna be 100% honest with you, but I also don't want to, like, scare everyone away who's watching this video and be like, not ever wanna get it because of what I said, but I'm gonna be honest with you. But that being said as well, everybody's pain threshold is different. Mine apparently has the strength of a crispy autumn leaf, but moving on. All in all, this insertion bit, insertion, is that even a word? The inserting bit literally took five minutes. So they get a light, point it in your nun. So she then had to get a tool called a speculum, which literally just opens your nunny up. And then because I hadn't actually had a baby before, she had to firstly open my cervix first just to check. I don't know what she checks, but she opened it first and then obviously like came out. Then she was gonna open it one more time to put the coil in. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. I just don't know what to do with them. The opening of thy cervix. This bit is... painful. The pain is seconds long, it's like a wave, but when I say pain, like, it's definitely scarring. It's a scarring kind of pain. The only way I can describe it, because I literally feel like I can't because it's such a pain I've never felt before, it's like a massive burning period cramp pain. Just like the maddest period pain of your life, like condensed into like a few seconds. Like, that's how I'd describe it. Like, during those seconds of pain, you know, I thought in my head, if I, if I ever felt, like, a serious amount of pain, I'd be, like, screaming, but I was just like this. Like, I didn't even, I did not even make a noise. Like, I, I couldn't make a noise. I mean, I don't know if I'm being so dramatic, like, people might watch this who have actually had a coin and been like, what the hell is this girl on about? Like, it didn't even hurt. But, like, that is just, genuinely my experience with it. It hurt and I'm going to um, not lie about that. But as I said, it is literally seconds. There was two waves, one when she opened the cervix the first time and then obviously the second one where she put it in, seconds long. Ladies, we can do this. You get a bloody baby out of there. So if you want a bit of training, get a coil. So after she finished up, less than five minutes time, um, I just laid there because I felt a bit dizzy. And then obviously I got up, sat down and we had a little chat. And that is where she explained that within the first three months of having a coil is the riskiest time for it to fall out. She also explained that it is really, really, really rare for it to fall out. So don't worry about that. And then because of this, you then arrange a checkup appointment that's in six weeks time and then I left. I would love to say that the pain was left at that door but it wasn't. Like I just I just can't glamorize it. Um, I'm just hoping that if you are watching a disclaimer please watch till the end because there is a silver lining. Straight up the week was a write-off. Like, if you are planning to get one, I would 100% say take time off work. Like, you are in every right to. It is literally a mini procedure that gives you mild labour pains. So, yes, take some bloody time off work. Because I didn't. I literally took, I think it was that day and the next day off work. And then, even though I was working from home, I was like, oh, oh, all day long. I mean, the fact that the doctor had the cheek of saying it's mild labour pains made me really think twice about having children. So pretty much from the moment I left the doctor's surgery up until that next week I just had massive waves of what felt like I can imagine contractions feel like. So like a few seconds where you're just like oh, 
and then it's like slowly fades and you're kind of you feel back to normal i took paramol mixed with ibuprofen to help this and that actually did really help i wouldn't say it made it good because it was terrible but it still made it so much more like manageable my biggest tip when i was getting these like contractions because your body's like what the hell is that inside you like it's trying to get it out so yeah my biggest tip when i was having these was pretty much like you're in labor like i don't know if i'm being dramatic again but i'm not gonna lie i was on all fours like <sighs> although um i did actually faint one time doing that like I fully fainted like I was on all fours hanging on um, the side of the bed and I was like <sighs> and then I was like Louie I think I'm gonna faint and then I was gone on the floor gone so yeah I'm not doing a lot to convince you guys but it gets better I know a lot of girls that didn't really get anything bad so obviously you can't take my full judgment but i do know that everyone i spoke to said that it does hurt and in terms of bleeding after i got the coil in i had the tiniest bit of spotting and then after a week the pain started easing off and then i started to realize i was going like full days without thinking about it even being in so i had a, a lot of questions about how my periods have been now so i'm gonna delve into the world of periods my first period i experienced i would say was just as painful as post insertion of the coil um it was bad i remember thinking if this is what my periods like this is getting removed from my body asap if you're not good with blood or thoughts of blood um switch off probably now so i'm gonna tell a story um but then definitely come back so yeah i was in a work meeting uh, got a wave of pain was like Whew. all of a sudden i'm like talking in my work meeting when i say i thought i wet myself like i i actually fully thought i wet myself and i was like what is going on like why am i weeing like why am i weeing ran to the toilet pulled me nick knocks down and it went that's a serious amount of detail but i literally want to be extremely honest with you in my full-on experience but yeah that was gushing of blood and i actually thought i was weeing when i was on the toilet as well like it was crazy so yeah i was going through a pad like <laughs> i just realized how like this would be such a disturbing video for a boy to watch but Anyway, I was going through a pad like every 15 minutes, like I'm not even joking. So yeah, that was the first period. Next period, second period. You can stop being scared because this one was better. Still painful, 100%. Um, when I first started to come on, I was like, oh, this is gonna be the same as the last one because it was bad. And then it just wasn't that bad. It was light, I was lighter, um, less painful. And then going into my third period with the copper coil in, was so much better even less pain even less bleeding obviously it, i was still bleeding and still had your usual period pains but i would 100 percent say that it was like a pretty normal period periods have been getting better and better and better each time but it's only taken three months so i 100 percent think it's worth it to be hormone free okay so i got a lot of questions as well about the physical like after effects i felt from um getting the coil so number one was bloating to the goddamn mat like, i fully think when i get pregnant i'm not gonna get a stretch mark because my belly has already been there and back like at least a thousand times a little bit more discharge than i normally have i also experienced soreness when i sat in certain positions for um the beginning bit another big one was that i could not have sex at all like even think about it for at least i say at least a month because to be honest it was just too painful down there another massive question that i got all the time was how how has it affected your skin um it hasn't affected my skin at all because it actually can't really affect your skin because there's no hormones in it. It's not gonna alter anything in your body. Another big question that I got loads was, can my partner feel it when we have sex no he said one time like i think i might have felt it but you know he didn't he didn't really know like it wasn't like ouch do you know what i mean i think there's a lot of horror stories where it's like oh it really hurt my boyfriend but it's like it's like a piece of string like come on also apologies if it did hurt you I'm not really sure how but yeah there is a lot of negative side effects in the beginning but the light at the end of the tunnel is that they go now to finish this is where it gets positive so if you tuned out because you didn't want to hear my negativity tune back in because this is where it gets a bit better so going on to my overview of it all having the copper coil inserted in my uterus for the past three to four months i would 100 
percent recommend it to anyone I speak to. Now all of my symptoms that I experienced for, from it from the beginning are starting to fade. I feel, I just feel alive not thinking about contraception every friggin day of my life. I feel like my mind is more clear. I feel more positive. I feel like I've got more energy. And that is what the pill does to you. Well does to me, done to me, um, sapped my energy. Another point is I am way more into um, Rumpty Pumpty than I was before. I feel like the pill must have really suppressed my libido and now it is finally rising. I am now on pretty much zero pain during the month unless I'm on my period which is obviously normal. My periods are now just like my old ones from what I remember before starting the pill. Another good point is that the coil is more effective than the pill so not only do I not have to think about it I'm comforted in the fact that it is working better than the pill. I looked back at kind of when this person that I didn't like um, arrived in my brain and it was literally in time of when I started the pill. From such a young age, you're giving yourself artificial hormones. You're not letting your actual hormones flourish and produce, you know, the person who you're actually meant to be. Like, it's kind of like you're fixing something that isn't broken. Like, you have hormones in your body already and they work fine. So it's like, why do you need these other, obviously, for contraceptive? contraception but I don't actually need this there is other ways like I'm not bound to this packet of pills that constantly has to be in my bag wherever I go if I ever stay anywhere of a night and having that constant pressure to take something that I didn't actually like and I hated the way it made me feel so although this video seemed really quite negative and quite scary and probably doesn't make you feel like you want to run and get one but I wanted to make sure that what I was saying was honest truth and honest experience but Having been through all of that and all of that pain and all of them tears, I'm still sitting here three months down the line saying 100% go get one. If I can bloody do it, you can. And if anything, I look back to that experience and I'm like, I've got a taste of labour now. So when I do become a mama and I go into labour, I'm going to be like, move out of the way been there done that probably won't because it's going to be so much more painful than that but anyway i've got a warm up so also one last thing that i absolutely love about the coil and being off the pill is that i have way less things to blame my moods on like i know that sounds weird but when i used to be a nasty person or be really moody i'd be like oh it's just my pill so now like when i'm in a negative mood and i'm being nasty i'm being moody i don't have anything to shift the blame on and i know that that's actually just me i can work on myself better so this is my message to all of my lovely ladies that are watching to bloody get off artificial hormones it literally does zero good for you the only good thing it does for you is stops you getting pregnant when there is actually something else out there obviously the way my mind thinks now i'm like like, girl, you've probably jinxed it and tomorrow something's gonna happen with it. But to this day, I'm fine and happy and living life. So yeah. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully that wasn't really long and rambly and hopefully it had some sort of sense and organisation to it. But it was a pretty painful, weird time of my life. So that may have reflected in my storytelling. I'm so happy to be back on YouTube and making videos because I enjoy it so much. So now I'm gonna plug, like the video and subscribe to my channel. That would be absolutely lovely because I am going to try and make way more videos. Bye guys, don't be scared. Bye.